Okay, now, Rania. My opinion doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arthur and I are headed out in his boat from his dock. It's looking pretty nice out there. Pretty calm water. <laughs> what? What's over here? Pelican. Oh yeah, there's a pelican. Wish they were diving, that'd mean they were on some pilchers. And we'd be able to get fresh bait up in here. He's sitting and watching for them to jump. <laughs> yeah, look at all the cormorants down there on the end of that dock too. Or, and there's one in the water. If there was a school of pilchers here though, they'd all be in the water. All right, Arthur went to the dollar store and bought laundry bags as chum bags so we'll see we'll see if they help puts a lot more cloth into the water you know if we get tired we can wash our t-shirts in the laundry bag so we're anchored up in the sand spot here you can see the reef all around us so hopefully we get some fish coming in we're just getting started. Hope you enjoy. So what you doing here, Arthur? Chum in the water. All right, cutting up some frozen ballyhoo and tossing them in. Trying to get things fired up. We got chum bag out on this side here. And look at the size of that grouper down there on the bottom. Too bad it's not grouper season. Hey, I got some ballyhoo around the boat. I just tossed the net out there. The bally hoop, it's floating. What I'm gonna do is just wait till I get some bally hoop right here in front of the net. And then I'll pull it up and hopefully we've got some bait. I've done it 30 times without the camera on. Is there any current? Um, yeah, it's going this way a little bit. The predator must be around because the ballyhoo disappeared. Dude, what? A predator must be around because the ballyhoo are gone. It's crazy. I turned the camera on and they're gone. They're staying just outside of the bag range. Oh well. That was the other day when I was out here, man. They were like, just all when I got so many of them, they are like attacking the freaking chum bag. Yeah. And I wasn't even throwing it out. I was throwing it out where the black line was and pulling it back in. Well, that's how I just caught that it. That close. I cut all these that close. And um, and then they, they just disappeared. Fish. Fish? Yeah, they're just like a crab. So, all I right. put a big up in there. It's gonna, if there's any lobsters, they're gonna come get it. Exactly. All right, I did get some bait. So we we now have live ballyhoo. The uh, bait pump has stopped working. So I put the wash down in here. And it's bringing, it's bringing fresh water in for these guys. So they should be fine. All right, I think Arthur and I are gonna move because all I got here was bait. We haven't even had a bite. All right, Arthur and I, we're moving. Where are we going? In a little closer or out a little farther? In a little closer, I reckon. All right. We caught a bunch of live ballyhoo. We nev now have live bait, so that's a good thing. There they are. But I had one bite on a live ballyhoo. He's got teeth marks in him. Here he is. Don't know what it was, but it definitely didn't eat him. Okay, Arthur and I just set up on a different spot on the reef. We've got four rods out. The current is fighting the wind, so it's not the best fishing conditions. <laughs> but hopefully we find something. Alright, Arthur just 
Just had a big pull on that rod. There it is. He's got him. He's got him. We don't know what it is, but it's the first fish of the day. Coming in. What you got there, Arthur? I think a yellowtail one. Yeah, it's a yellowtail. Nice yellowtail. Look at the size of that guy. Good job, Arthur. Way to go, buddy. Arthur is on fire. He's got him. He's got him in the rocks. You got him? All right. Got him out of the rocks. Just had to wait a little bit. And Arthur found the grunt hole. Key Largo panfish. There, Arthur's getting a bite. It's it's little. It's a mutton just picking it up. Wait, 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 wait. Wait for that rod to bend. I'm thinking maybe he found the grunt hole again. We're gonna find out. I think it's a grunt. Oh! A Grazeby grouper. All right. Pliers. Pliers? He swallowed it. Just read your finger in there. No, he's got teeth. <laughs> he's got lots of little needly teeth. He'll rip you to shreds. All right, there's Arthur's Grazeby in the shade. We can't even see him. Look at that mouth. Only a mu only a that mother could a love needle. that mouth. A little needle. Yeah, we're in You back in the grunt hole there? Probably. What you got, Arthur? Call it before it gets up here. Right. Yep. I called it by the bite. Grunt hole fish. Good job, Arthur. Thank you. Jim's on. <laughs> it's a yellow tail. Coming up from the deep. All right, yellow tail. It's on again. Nice yellow tail. Eat these guys all day long. This one here is barely legal size. There we go. Jim is on. He's got a big one. Coming up from the bottom. What's he got? I don't think it's a yellowtail snapper by the way that rod's bending. It's the biggest rock I've ever caught. He's got a big rock. And the yellow tail. Oh. <laughs> there he is, folks. It's the heaviest fish I caught today. Looks like a piece of artwork up from the deep. Keep him. Yeah, he made me struggle. Okay, here's your line. Alrighty, we'll throw that rock back over and it'll live. And Arthur's front one came out. That fish that was on the front definitely came out i was i was really proud of arthur he saw it but he kept filming me rather than come get his fish yep got him out but no fish still got that big chunk of bait on it though yeah. 
but big strips out of the back side of him. All right. Valley who are all stacked up behind the boat. Alright, we got the ballyhoo all stacked up behind the boat here. Just gonna pull the net in and um, most of them got away, but I got a few. Got the chum bag in here too. I <coughs> got half a dozen. That easy. That's how you use the ballyhoo. Come on guys, come on out of there. Jump in the live well. Oh, one went in the ocean. Get all those ballyhoo coming. Another half dozen. At a dollar a piece, it's a great way to make bait. <laughs> 